This is the first of several mini tutorials where I'll be introducing you to more to the Slice ceramic knife blades and how you can use them in your colour pencil work. Okay, some of you will know that I've been sent, um, this is just a couple of them, I've been sent some lovely blades and knives by the founder of The Slice um, who creates and designed these ceramic safety knives and um, they saw one of my videos online and really liked it and just wanted to get in touch to see if there was any other way that they could help me with um, well, with using the products within the art world really because obviously they design these mainly for industry for safety measures um, and they're sold in bulk to industries <laughs> um, so it's not really something I don't think they thought of as artists using them so what I'm going to do I'm working on this cat at the moment and I want to just I've used um, it's just pan pastel down on here and I've used um, a small eraser a mono eraser so far just to start flicking through and creating lifting off the pan pastel to create some of this texture now i'm just looking at a couple of these knives that they've sent me and i'm just going to try to decide which one i might have a try with textured control grip because um, this is my original so i've got already um blades here she says I did have them to hand this is one blade that I've got this is a really fine one by Slice uh, you can see it's really 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 fine the tip on this so we can use that later on for really fine texture and I seem to have put down my I had it here a couple of minutes ago and as you do I haven't moved but it appears to have vanished <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do anyway is just try with one of these I think I just want to see what oh the never lost cap that's the difference between this one and this one so I'm going to crack open this one which is the craft cutter with ceramic blade um, and see how we get on with it. Let me just see if I can get into the back without causing too much damage. There we go. So, mm, it's lovely and light. It does feel literally just like a pen. Um, my, my normal um, slice cutter is much chunkier and heavier but really nice in my hand as well. So what I'm going to do is just start to, I don't know, let's pop in some texture. So what I want to do is first of all free up my picture so I can move it around. This is one thing when you're using a knife you want to be able to keep your piece, your piece of work free moving. Um, Otherwise, you're not flicking away in a natural motion when you're creating the the fur, the, the fur texture flicks. So I'm just going to line up my reference photo upside down as well. <laughs> Always helps if it matches. Let's turn this around. Put a bit of tape there just to hold it in place. And what I'm going to do, just zoom in a little bit here. I'm just going to see how this performs. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness me. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Wow. Okay. So I'm just going to go really light handed here because I went in a little bit harder there just because I wasn't sure how much texture that was going to give me. Um, but it is fantastic. I am so impressed. What I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to pop in some pencil down that outside edge so that I can really flick this knife into it. I usually use this upside down. Let me just try it both ways. Let's try it the normal way up. This is better being used the normal way up. 
yeah, I am impressed with that. I used to use uh, metal blades, so a basic craft knife. I've got one here to hand. I use this one. I used a couple of different types. But this was um, just a Swan Morton blade, and you can see here how rusty and horrible it gets. But it's just not. It's not just that. You can cut yourself on these, and you can also cut your work really easily. Here is another one. There's another Swan Morton one. Um, again, at least they, this one did have a lid as well. But it, they're okay. But like I say, the blades on the these craft knives, these slice knives, they've been tested now. And I think last time I did a video, they were um, proven to be lasting the blades ten times longer than steel. But now I've seen... Um, especially on this new one, these new ones. Well, the one I've cracked open says 10 times, but I know since then, look, they're now up to, they last up to 11 times longer than stainless steel, than, than steel. Now, obviously, it does depend on what you're, what you should put in these two. Um, the guys at Slice did advise me that if you wanted to, you cut through Kevlar. So you can imagine, though, you're going to possibly blunt it a little bit quicker depending on what um, you use it for. Okay, so what I'm doing here, for those that are following the actual tutorial, is I'm just flicking my eyes backwards and forwards to the reference photo and just starting to create some texture. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll go in afterwards with actually using pencil to put down some really fine texture and then we'll come in with the knife again because the knife will create finer texture than we can create with any pencil. But yeah, really, really impressed with that. Well, hopefully you can just see that. Let's clean that off. I'm going to come up here now as well around the edge. Just being careful, I'm following the third direction here. It all starts to sweep down a little bit. See, I need to now change the angle of my paper there. <clears throat> Let's come up here to where the ear is as well. Some dark areas. Because we're working on obviously the black paper, we're lifting away the pigment to reveal more of the dark shadows of the black paper underneath. So we've put our light coloured pastel over the top. And then I use the mono eraser to create to lift off the big amounts of pigment. But now we can use this knife to start to see now the whiskers the little flicks of hair here are white so I, I'm not really going to be lifting much out there but I can look to see where little pockets of shadow are in between the, um, the whiskers and the hairs And same here, if we come up to where the eye is, let me just zoom out, reposition a little bit, and zoom in a tiny bit, okay, so we can just lift some of this out, but over here then we're going to have whiskers coming in all directions, Anybody who wants to follow on this one, there is a full video tutorial and there will be a written tutorial this month, December 8, 2018. Um, the videos are going to be exclusive over on my teaching channel where you can become a member and you can access those videos as along with all of my other um, tutorial videos 
that's over on Patreon. There will be links in the description of the video. This is just a little snippet to show this tool in action. I am really, really impressed with this initial quick little go with this craft cutter. So that's the package for that one again. It's got the 105-18 blade in um, and you, it will fit the curved blade as well but I do prefer the pointed blade for this kind of work. Um, but yeah. I've got a little lid there. The other one, like I say, has got a non a, a lid they designed because in industry people were losing the lid. Obviously they were working, putting the lid down and then losing it. So um, they did design a new one that's can't lose the lid because it's attached. So this is the predecessor, but it is fabulous. Wonderful. Okay, so I'll be doing more of this. This is just a quick little video, just to show it working. Um, if you want to see the actual tutorial on creating this cat, please do pop over to my Patreon channel. Thank you very much for watching.